So the EFF is calling for the arrest of Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, after a video surfaced yesterday of him asking a young boy, a child, to suck his tongue at a public event a few months ago. The party believes he should face child abuse charges, despite the fact that he's now apologized for what happened, saying he usually joked in that manner with people that he met. For more on this, we're joined by the South African Council of Churches General Secretary, Bishop Malusi Mpumlana. Bishop Mpumlana, very good evening to you. Um, welcome to News at Prime. So how damaging is this video to the credibility and reputation of the Dalai Lama as a spiritual leader? I, mean, I have to say it was sickening even to look at it. Uh, it's just the kind of thing you have no expectation can be done by, done by someone as, you know, as elevated a religious leader as the Dalai Lama. Uh, I'm at a loss for words uh, to describe uh, how I feel about this kind of thing. Especially because uh, in terms of, I mean, I'm just talking about his position, in terms of, of uh, Tibetan uh, Buddhism, uh, of which he is the representative and embodiment. He actually represents the ultimate of enlightenment uh, in terms of, of that faith. But then, you know, <laughs> all human beings are sinners, and they do things that they shouldn't do. And uh, whether a person is, whatever the title may be, such as we see with the, so, you know, these pastors that do all kinds of things in this country, I suppose it can be expected of anyone of us and that we ought to be, uh, but we have to hold everybody, especially those who represent the faith, to a very high standard. And that's what we've all been holding up the Dalai Lama to be. Now, it happens in India. <clears throat> there are laws in India for the protection of children. And, uh, and even though, even in that country, there is a lot of child abuse, but this really is the limit because of who he is, and it doesn't matter if it was in public or in private, it should never happen anyway. So the fact that it's in public actually is probably not a bad thing because it enables us to see what it is. We don't know what happens in private. So uh, I wouldn't be making an issue of it being in public. I would be making an issue of the fact that it did happen. And, 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 and I hear his office uh, says, he only often jokes with people like this. You don't, I mean, this is a power game. If you're as powerful a person as this person is, and you joke in a way, even if it's a woman or a child, uh, that's sexually suggestive. It's just not acceptable. It's, it's a power game. And some have said, yes, in Tibet, um, sticking out your tongue alone is known, uh, has been recognized as a sign of greeting, agreement. But this went further than that. To joke with a child about them sucking your tongue, there cannot be a context, can there, where that is seen as acceptable or playful. No, Tibetan, Tibetan culture does not allow the sucking of, of thumb as a, as, a, as a demonstration of, 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 of greeting. No, that's not true. Uh, it, 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 I suppose showing it can definitely, there's no such thing, there's no culture that's a sucking a, th a tongue of, 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 of somebody, uh, you know, just casually, is a way of being affectionate. Uh, or even uh, uh, joking with some, somebody like that. There's no explanation technically for this at all, at all, at all. Mm. And, and, and I, 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 would, I, would, I would like to know uh, what the leadership of the Tibetan uh, uh, Buddhism in South Africa in Cape Town would be saying about this, because this is, this is their leader. This is somebody that the world holds up in great... I mean, I can, Im I can imagine, I can imagine someone like Archbishop Desmond to, to reflect on this if he was around. Because this is a very special friend of his. And I know that both of them were very jocular persons. If you read that book of theirs, which is a spirit of joy, uh, it really is about joking. And so you can say, yeah, he's a very jocular person. But this is not a joke. And in the statement yesterday issued on behalf of the Dalai Lama, it references, it says a video clip has been circulating that shows a recent meeting where a young boy asked His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, if he could give him a hug. His Holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family, as well as his many friends across the world, for the hurt that this may have caused. But that statement does not address, it speaks to the hug, but it does not address the moment that caused concern, which is that explicit request for the child to suck his tongue. So what does he need to do now? I mean, the EFF is suggesting that he face investigation, for example, for child abuse. Is that what would be enough?
Well, that, that would be a matter of Indian law. That's why I referenced the Indian law in the first instance. But nobody in this country can demand a charge in India. That's a matter for the Indian, uh, in, Indian authorities. But I would like to say that um, the, 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 this thing happened in February, from what I understand. This is now in the middle of April. Uh, were it not for the video emerging uh, at this time, I'm wondering what the office of the Dalai Lama or the Dalai Lama himself would have said or done with regard to this matter with the family of that child. I mean, you know, you don't wait for this kind of thing. And if you don't, if you, if you recognize it as wrong, you don't wait for somebody to expose it. You do something about what you've done wrong. Mm -hmm. And that, that myself, you know, sort of puts him, puts him in a very dim view uh, for him to, or his office, to, to lie low on this until somebody makes it public. It's also been argued that he should have known better precisely because we've been dealing with the sexual abuse of children by religious leaders. When you look at what's been going on in the Catholic Church in South Africa, you can, uh, if you go on the Internet and do a search, you can find various other pastors accused of abusing young people in their congregations. And surely on that premise alone, then, someone as senior as the Dalai Lama in a faith space should have known that such a joke would never be seen as a laughing matter. I don't, I can't believe it was a joke. Nobody jokes with sucking a person's thumb. There is no such a joke. You can't joke like that, not to a child. Let's just suppose, I mean, <laughs> you know, let, let's suppose, some, let's suppose a, a man did this to a woman. I'm not talking about a child. Do you think that woman would consider it a joke? No. Now this child can't answer for himself. Mm. And it, it again goes back to what I've just been speaking to, right? The increasing loss of trust among the public, among congregations, that people can be able to have their children around people who were historically held in the high esteem, not just the Dalai Lama, but even in other denominations where it feels as though there isn't a place where children are safe from physical harm or even inappropriate conversations, inappropriate uh, comments and jokes, or whatever. That ultimately is the greatest pain for us uh, leaders of the religious community because uh, every time somebody does something like this, it wears on all of us. It, it affects all of us. It affects the total reputation. It doesn't matter what the faith is. You know, I was talking to... A, 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 I'm not going to mention the church in this country uh, of people that are at odds with each other and they don't want to see eye to eye. And I'm trying to bring them together. Say, they say, well, what does Bumlana want with us? I say, I want nothing but your unity because, because this, whatever, how, what people see in you, they see for all of us. And so it does not matter who you are. And that's why we're always pained, pained when somebody who should do no better as a, as, as a faith leader who leads people to enlightenment in God, of, doesn't matter what your tradition is. It was in the Buddhism culture where, in fact, the person is supposed to be, the Dalai Lama is supposed to be the embodiment of the ultimate of enlightenment. What is enlightenment? And compassion. Now, of course, the office might say it was an expression of compassion because compassion is a major theme of the Buddhist uh, 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 faith. Uh, uh, you'll be able to talk about how you exercise that, but they, whatever, whichever way you look at it, it doesn't matter which way you turn, you turn the coin, it, can't, it, do, it, it doesn't look pretty. Bishop Malusi Bumlana, the General Secretary of the South African Council of Churches, good to have your time, sir. Thank you.